it's Jessica of jessicagavin.com and welcome to my test kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious stuffed peppers. Bell peppers make for the perfect edible bowl. I'm going to load them up with ground beef and vegetable filling. These individual portions make for a hearty dish that's also great for meal prep. Set the oven rack to the center position. Preheat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to use a variety of bell peppers. Each have their own unique flavor. Green tend to be a little bit more bitter, whereas yellow, orange, and red are a little bit more sweet. Cut the tops off of each bell pepper. Leave about three inches of the bottom for stuffing. Remove the membrane and seeds. Chop the top pieces into one quarter inch dice. It should make about one cup. We'll use it later to add crunch to the filling mixture. Set aside for now. Grease the sides and bottom of a 12 inch cast iron skillet or casserole dish with olive oil. Arrange the peppers inside. Lightly season the insides of the peppers with salt and pepper. The tops of the peppers can be cut off like I've done here to make bowls or you can cut them down the center to make boats and then roast them on a baking sheet instead. Chop the onion into a quarter inch dice. Mince the garlic. Cut the serrano pepper in half. Remove the seeds, membranes, and stem, then mince. Now that we have the ingredients all prepped, let's start cooking the filling. Heat a large skillet over medium-high heat. Add in one tablespoon olive oil. Once hot, add one cup diced onion, two teaspoons minced garlic, and one teaspoon minced serrano pepper. Saute until onions are tender, about three minutes. For the stuffed peppers, I like to use 80 to 90% lean ground beef. You want enough fat so that the meat doesn't dry out, but not so much that it tastes greasy. I like to use ground chuck, sirloin, or round because they're the most flavorful. Add in one pound ground beef, breaking into smaller pieces. Cook until no longer pink, about four minutes. To season the beef, Add one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon salt, three quarter teaspoon black pepper, a half a teaspoon smoked paprika, and a quarter teaspoon chili powder. Stir to combine. Add in one cup of diced bell peppers. Saute for one minute. Add in one cup black beans, one cup corn, one cup diced tomatoes, and a quarter cup sliced green onion. Stir and cook for one minute. Turn off the heat and add in three quarter cup of cheese. Stir to combine. Taste the beef filling and add more salt and pepper as needed. Now that the filling is ready, let's go stuff the peppers. Add about three quarter cup of filling to each bell pepper. The peppers don't need to be blanched before they're stuffed and cooked because they're going to soften with the filling in the oven. Now that they're ready, let's go bake them. Bake the stuffed peppers for about 30 minutes.
Remove from the oven and sprinkle about one teaspoon of cheese on top of each pepper. Bake again until the cheese is melted, about two minutes. The bell peppers are ready when they feel tender when pierced with a fork. These look good, let's go plate up. Check these out. Now that they're ready, all we need to do is garnish them. I like to add some sliced green onions. And if you like it to be a little bit spicy, add some sliced serrano peppers too. Just a couple. If you're batch cooking, just let these cool down completely then put them into an airtight container in the refrigerator so that you can enjoy them throughout the week. If you're meal prepping, you can prepare the filling and then stuff the peppers later when you're ready to bake and eat them. I hope you enjoyed learning the science behind stuffed peppers, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and remember, cook with confidence. You got this. See you later.